Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around <clears throat> before we get into doing any shooting uh, videos tonight. I really wanted to do a quick, uh, this is actually a suggestion by one of the viewers of the channel, um, and uh, I thought it was a real good idea, so I thought I'd give it, a, give it a try and let you guys see what I do. So I use, uh, for the iPhone, they have an app called Sub MOA, which is a uh, app that will allow you to uh, import your target pictures and uh, circle all of the bullet impacts, and it will give you the the radius and the MOA of the the group and all of that sort of stuff, and have a little thing that tell you all the pertinent information of uh, the group that you're displaying and how long it was and what the temperature was whether it was windy or not and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a split screen here and uh, show you guys uh, how this works so I need to get my screen capture going first <clears throat> so Let's see here. I'm gonna open up the sub MOA app now. I'll bring it up here. So uh, the screen looks like that there. And this is the one sub MOA app, and I think it's a different name for. But if you look up Target uh, software, uh, I don't know how you'd find it, but. Uh, I think this is the sub MOA name is only for the iPhone, but uh, so the first thing you do, uh, at least uh, I, I've never used any other settings on here except for um, the choose target picture. So I don't know what all those other settings do, but you choose a target picture and then it will bring up your picture library and you go in there and you pick a, pick a target photo. And this one was from uh, the other day I shot with my Cometa 300. Um, and so I'll, so the first thing you want to do is once you have your target picture up, you want to go down to the bottom here where it has the little uh, gear, that's your settings. And you uh, bring that settings up and uh, it'll give you your shooting distance. It already shows 25 there, so that's fine. Uh, we need to change the firearm and uh, we'll change that to uh, Cometa 300 and we were shooting uh, I think we I think that was still no that wasn't shooting that was uh, what was I shooting <laughs> uh, well it doesn't matter so there you would put your <clears throat> pellet uh, or your ammunition type in there if you get shooting, uh, you know, Federal Auto Match, if you're shooting a 22 or whatever, your bullet diameter of 0.177, um, your scope type here, uh, what it is still a hammer's 4 to 12 by 40. Um, so uh, range temperature. Um, whatever the temperature was at the range, uh, whether it was windy or calm, indoors, I like to put if it was indoors, uh, and then you go down uh, to uh, range date, uh, and you can, you can either hit that button and it'll have down at the bottom just uh, today's day, or you can actually choose uh, a different day. So if you just want today's date, you just hit done, and it would populate that with uh, done <clears throat> and then you hit save so now you've changed you've saved all the uh, important information that's going to display on the screen later when we get to that point so now the next thing you got to do is actually set your um, you got to set the inch parameters of the target that you're shooting and so you need to know <laughs> is it a one inch dot or a two inch dot or you know you need to know something on that target that's 
a specific parameter like one inch or two inch or something like that so that you can uh, input that dimension so what you want to do is you want to blow it up so I'll show you what happens if you don't blow it up all the way so you want to start out by putting that green dot on the edge of your target and I know this target dot is two inches but if I hit the um, little pencil and ruler there if you see it it came up not where the this is a little quirk of this software it came up down below there where uh, it wasn't part of the target so that's a problem so we're gonna um, start over again but I'll put in that it's two inches so it doesn't throw my distance off so if you zoom in all the way as far as you can go to the edge of the target like that put your green dot on the edge now it will put the X where it should be on the edge of the target and then you can scroll across to the other side of the screen and it will put the X on the other side now you hit the ruler and pencil again and uh, put in your two inch measurement and so now you're ready to go and so now you start by putting that green circle across your first bullet impact and then over on the left hand side at the bottom is a bullet a little picture of a bullet impact and you hit hit that and it'll put the first bullet impact uh, in the <clears throat> on the screen there and then you go to the next bullet impact hit the bullet again sec and just keep going until you populate all of your bullet impacts I think there was one more over here in the middle like that and uh, so now we've got all of our bullet impacts so the screen has calculated or but you don't know what it is yet so now uh, up on this upper or the right hand or left hand side there's a little menu there and the very bottom is a little uh, picture of like a piece of paper with the corner full of the back if you touch that it will come up with uh, a screen part of the screen that has uh, all of that information that we put in earlier um, and now you got to just kind of play with it to get the um, <clears throat> get that sitting where you want it to be on the uh, along with the target and so you can see that it shows it's a Cometa 300, RWS Superdomes, Hammer Scope, 25 yards, group size of 0.66 inches or 2.53 MOA, group area, mean radius, uh, temperature. Um, so if you, it, it cut off a little bit of the information at the bottom so the date's not there, uh, that'll happen too. So it is kind of a quirky little <clears throat> quirky little uh, app but it does a pretty good job so now uh, once you're done with that you, there's a, a little uh, up at the upper left along the side there is a little three dots connected together with uh, lines you press that and that will export that picture out to your your photo library so now you're, you're done with that you can actually exit out of there and then we can go over and take a look at our photo library and open that up and uh, you can see right there's the picture now you can take that picture and import it into a video or save it in your phone for you know show people how good you shot at the range or whatever you want to use it for but you have that saved uh, for future reference so you know down the road if you're you know two years from now you pull your you know 22 out of the out of the safe for the first time and you haven't shot it in a while uh, you know what ammo that thing shot the best but uh, there you go that is a really quick little tutorial on how I use the sub MOA app to come up with all of the pictures that I put into my videos uh, to show you guys what the group uh, the groups were when I was shooting so Anyway, uh, there you go. Let's do a, uh, let's stop the recording and we'll get out of here. But 
Anyway, there you go. That is a pretty cool little tutorial for you guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.